if you really think that the reason prices are going up in the grocery store and at the gas pump can be laid solely at the feet of Joe Biden or at workers and the unions that represent these workers, you're mistaken. You're wrong. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? I, I just wanted to play this clip from Means Morning News. They were talking about inflation last week, about some reporting from The Guardian. And, you know, and, and we wanted to play this because the conversation about inflation is so, you, you know, we talked about with Matt Huber how when there was a push to, there, there was at one time in this country a push to make illegal single-use plastics to tackle the problem of littering and this this environmental issue at the point of production where it actually comes from and then the industry people were able to come and and create this whole narrative about about oh it's it's not it's not us it's you you should you should just throw it away in the proper place don't litter you know they did this whole campaign about it and well with, similarly with inflation we've got all these industry moguls that are trying to convince us that our wages that are barely oftentimes not even keeping up with the pace of inflation are the cause of inflation somehow right i mean <laughs> right now the inflation is about double the wage increases at least right. from you know the data that i've seen so while yeah. at the same time executive pay is still going through the roof i mean right and stock buybacks stock buybacks profits are increasing so let's go ahead and just play this clip from means morning news about inflation Recent investigation by The Guardian has revealed that the so-called inflation crisis in the U.S. is actually just a huge transfer of wealth from the working class to capitalists. Persistent myth around price increases is that companies are just reacting to rising costs of labor and raw materials by increasing their own prices in order not to lose money. But the reality is companies are taking advantage of relatively small increases in costs to jack up prices and enjoy world historic profit margins. And this cuts across several different industries. The Guardian looked at 100 top U.S. companies and examined their profit margins from the most recent quarter with measures from two years ago, before the pandemic took hold. And in case after case, companies enjoyed profits well above what they had experienced and well above whatever cost increases they've had to absorb associated with the virus. Median profit increase of the 100 companies examined was 49%. Meanwhile, workers' wages from the first quarter before the pandemic to the most recent quarter this year only went up by 1.6%. After an initial surge in wages at the start of the pandemic, worker pay decreased steadily as companies rolled back stuff like hazard pay, which further accelerated their profit growth. Look at some of these numbers. Mattel Corporation a profit growth of 111,400%. BP, an increase of 12,005%. Caterpillar, 958% profit increase. Swimming in cash, thanks to their price increases, these companies have spent billions enriching investors through stock buybacks. Some companies were even losing money before the pandemic, but under so-called inflation, they are more profitable than ever. UPS reported a quarterly profit loss of $106 million in the quarter before the pandemic, but in the most recent quarter, a profit of $3.1 billion, allowing the company to spend almost $7 billion on stock buybacks. Yeah. I mean, companies that were not profitable before the pandemic are now so profitable they're spending billions of dollars on stock buybacks a thousand percent increases it's hundred uh, there's one company mattel has a 144 thousand four hundred percent increase in their profits from before the pandemic started yeah i'm i'm glad that we shared this because the inflation conversation really has been just dominated by bs frankly, uh, because when they're not blaming workers and unions for the increase in prices, 
uh, folks are saying it's it's Joe Biden. And I mean, listeners of this program know that we're not, you know, Joe Biden fanboys by any means. But if you really think that the reason prices are going up in the grocery store and at the gas pump can be laid solely at the feet of Joe Biden or at the at, at the hands of workers and the unions that represent these workers, you're mistaken. You're wrong. You're just wrong uh, because we see clearly the ways in which capitalist firms in many industries have monopoly power, especially, you know, meat industry where we've seen a lot of uh, rising prices. So there's there's a combination of factors, monopoly power and the fact that they can raise these prices and get away with it, because what are we going to do? Right. In many cases, we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about, you know, products that we don't have much of a choice. You know, folks have to buy groceries. Folks have to buy fuel. And so they can raise these prices. And it's not going into the pockets of the workers producing these products. Not at all. And, you know, there are other legitimate issues going on uh, contributing to the inflation crisis in terms of, COVID and the disruptions in the supply chain, um, the war in Ukraine is having a major effect. Ukraine and Russia are both major exporters of grain and other products. And of course, it's not just the war, but actually the American-led sanctions on Russia, which is also uh, contributing to this economic crisis. And, you know, the other part of that in terms of the supply chain is for years, companies have moved towards this just-in-time uh, logistics, and so they're not, they have not been keeping the inventories they used to. Uh, they've been having uh, these just-in-time production supply chains, and it doesn't take much to cause a lot of disruption. Uh, one thing I think that we could see as an opportunity there is, is in the workers in these industries who have such a, a piece of leverage in terms of a supply chain. And I hope that those workers can leverage that to uh, improve things for themselves and for the rest of us as well. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. 